hi guys welcome back to my channel so this is a quick um set showing you i've already prepped my client's nails she is a nail biter um i'm going to apologize now because oh, my head is getting in the way again it's driving me insane so i'm pretty sure it must be driving you like insane so the same walls have applied <clears throat> i've pushed back my cuticles i've gone in with my cuticle cleaning bit and removed them i have took my my buffer and i have buffed over the entire surface of the nail to remove the shine i have dehydrated and i have applied one coat of nsi super bomb primer and i apply my second coat right before acrylic application i have placed a bead of clear on the nail plate and also just going up over the join so that we have got a bit of strength underneath that enhancement and i am going in with a pink from glam and glitz i will get the name for you if you want to know the name and leave it in the description box so the same way that i always build my nails i've taken one bead i have gone from cuticle to free edge i am patting it out to get it all even and smooth and keeping my shape nice i'm then going to cap the nail once i'm done with the pink in clear for strength because these acrylics are not a core acrylic so they are weaker because they are full of pigment so you want to always make sure you're encapsulating that nail in clear for strength sorry about my head i really am it's driving me insane like ugh, literally so annoying I'm going to just leave you to watch this and then I will pop back when we move on to my princess party glitter mix.
Okay, so here is the index finger and I'm applying my second coat of NSI Super Bomb Primer and I am going in with my Nail Nails Clear Acrylic Powder with my Nail Nails Maximum Adhesion Liquid. I'm still using my Alpha Brush which is a size 10 and because I am going to put glitter on this nail I'm actually building like a structure base with the clear so it's not it's not thick but I am building my whole shape and structure so all the glitter is protected from the underneath as well so we're not going to have any breakages coming from if you're snapping your nail so here is my princess pony mix oh my god it is so pretty I love this mix it's had stuff added to it over a period of time and now I have just this massive gigantic huge pot of it so which is why I put it up for sale thank you to everyone who has already purchased a bag of this I have written down your addresses and we'll get them shipped tomorrow um a couple of you that have paid but have not left your post address there's an angels den wooden letters um has paid but haven't left their address and joanne coates as well you need to email me your address please so i can get that shipped to you but yeah it's a beautiful mix it's got lots in it and this is me working with it what i'm doing it's just roaring apart it has got like fragments of um acrylic powder in there but it, it is a raw glitter mix <clears throat> and i'm just literally dipping my brush into my monomer taking a tiny wee bit of clear and then dipping it straight into the raw glitter mix and placing it on the nail that way and then obviously as always with glitter I have encapsulated that entire nail and you know you want to make sure you're protecting that glitter you don't want to file into it so I cut out the thumb because it was just pink and I did move on to some filing but again my stupid head just kept getting in the way so I did have to cut out quite a bit of filing. I've left the work I did with my e-file, well what you can see of it anyway and I'm just like you know going over, going around my, down my side walls and across the surface and I'm not sore filing although it looks extremely fast. I'm just going over to make sure the application and the finished result is nice and even going around the cuticles. She is a biter and she does tend to bite them cuticles also. So that is why I couldn't get super close to them cuticles because she tends to be a lifter. So this is the thorn and then afterwards I just added some top coat and some Swarovski crystals and I left some lovely pictures for you all. I did leave a little bit of recording as well so you could see that princess party mix. Thank you again to everyone who has purchased it. Please do email me with your addresses though guys because I can't send it to nowhere. So make sure you do that for me and I can get that all posted tomorrow. Thanks again everyone for watching. Love you all. Bye.